Hey everyone, MD here, and in this video, I'm going to break down where you can find over 50,000 free hidden Vizor in Final Fantasy War of the Visions. Let's start with units. When you level a unit to 40, it unlocks a character quest that upon completion allows you to get their corresponding master ability. It also is going to reward you with 50 Vizor, which is paltry in and of itself, but when you consider that there are 94 possible units to collect in War of the Visions, at least when this video was released, that can start to add up pretty quickly. If you had all 94 possible units, which hardly anybody does, and you completed all of their corresponding character quests, it would equal 4,700 Vizor. But let's say you're in a more realistic situation, and you've collected, let's say, 80 units. That still equals 4,000 Vizor, or 70 units, which equals 3,500 Vizor. Or maybe you're just starting the game, and you've only collected 60 units. That still adds up to 3,000 extra Vizor for completing some fairly easy character quests. The next place to look for some free Vizor is in the Beast Den under the Far Plane tab. In here, there should be 22 Esper quests. One thing of note about the Beast Den is that you do not need the corresponding Esper unlocked in your inventory to play these quests. Each of these quests will net you 50 Vizor once you complete it, equaling another 1,100. Updating our tally, 4,700 from character quests plus 1,100 from the Beast Den equals 5,000. 800. Next, you'll want to head over to the Events banner under the Far Plane tab. In here, there is a sub-tab called Day Training where you can dig up a bunch more of Azor. Each of the banners here has a set of sub-quests that each net you 50 Vizor upon completing. In total, there should be 71 quests that you can mine in this Day Training sub-tab which will equal 3,550 Vizor. A breakdown looks like this. The Experience Chamber and Growth Egg Chamber both have four quests. The Pot Chamber, Gill Chamber, and Ore Chambers each have three. Each element, which there are eight of Esper Awakenings, each has one quest. Both the Yellow and Red Training Chambers have three apiece and the bulk of the quests will be found in the Allcrest Chambers. Each Allcrest Chamber has five quests and there are eight separate Allcrest Chambers, equaling 40 quests in total. Updating our running tally to account for everything in the day training area, we add 3,550 to 5,800 and we have 9,350 Vizor. And now for where you're going to be able to find the bulk of the free Vizor in War of the Visions, the Story tab. First, let's go look at the World Quests sub-tab. Inside this sub-tab, you'll see a couple of different locations that are available, the Southern Lions Valley and the Glacial Lands. When you click on one of these, it'll open several sub-locations. Each sublocation is where character quests from earlier are housed, as you can see. But it is also where you're going to be able to find a variety of subquests that you can complete by doing simple tasks elsewhere in the game. Make sure to go through each location and accept each subquest. Once you accept a subquest, you can then go navigate them more easily in the subquest list tab while on the world quests home area. It should show you all the subquests you've accepted in the ongoing area, the subquests you've completed under the completed area, and a summary of what you've received under the rewards claimed area. Each subquest in the world 
quests tab will net you 100 Vizor, and there are 36 subquests available, meaning another 3,600 Vizor just waiting for you to claim. This brings our running total to 12,953 Vizor. Let's go back to Story Quests, which is the area you're taken to when you click on the Story tab from your home screen. At this point in time, there are 11 chapters of the Story Campaign released. Each chapter is divided into three scenes, and each scene has 10 battles in it. With the exception of Battle 10 in Chapter 1, Scene 1, each of these battles will provide you with 50 Vizor upon completing it. Across all chapters and scenes, there are 329 battles that give Vizor, totaling 16,450 to add to our total, bringing it to 29,400 free Vizor thus far. But this isn't where the campaign stops providing the player with gobs of free Vizor. After you complete each chapter of the story, go to the Missions tab on your home screen. At the top, toggle to your Milestone sub-tab and there should be a corresponding Story Quest tab that nets an additional 2,000 Vizor per chapter. 500 for Scene 1, 500 for Scene 2, and 1,000 for Scene 3. Seeing as there are currently 11 chapters in the story, that's an additional 22,000 Vizor. Add that to our running total of free Vizor in Final Fantasy War of the Visions, and there you have it, over 50,000, with some wiggle room for most of us who don't have all the units collected. Here are some additional areas that War of the Visions provides some free Vizor that we are not adding to our total in this video. If you click on the plus icon next to your Vizor total on your home screen, there is an offer wall for free Vizor that Gumi has included. When you click on this, you'll find a bevy of options for you to earn free Vizor. Now, a really important distinction needs to be noted here. It appears that the contents of the offer wall are very different depending on what operating system or platform you are using to play War of the Visions. On my iPad, as seen here, which is where my primary account is housed, the offer wall is filled with a bunch of advertisements for products and services. This is not free Vizor because I would have to purchase a product or service to be rewarded with in-game Vizor. Let's jump over to my alternate account, which is housed on an Android phone. Here, the offer wall is vastly different. It offers Vizor for downloading and playing various other games. This is free Vizor if you're willing to put a small amount of time into playing other games. As you can see, under the In Progress tab for my alternate account, I've completed seven different offers for playing other games. Without dropping a single dime, I've been rewarded with close to 10,000 free Vizor. In general, it's going to take you about a week of playing each of these games for less than an hour a day to complete the offer. Well, with the exception to King's Throne, Game of Lust, that took more than two weeks and the reward definitely wasn't worth it. Once you complete the offer, the Vizor will show up in your Presence tab under the Unlimited sub-tab and then you can go delete that game from your device and work on the next offer. Other areas of War of the Visions to look for some more free hidden Vizor are the Beginner's Hall under the Challenges tab and then the limited events that cycle through the game under the Farplane tab and then the Events tab. The game is always cycling through a variety of limited events that have a different amount of subquests which should each net you 50 Vizor a piece upon completing. Also, if you return to the Missions tab from your home screen and toggle to the Milestone sub-tab and go over to Training, the game 
is always giving away a good chunk of free Vizor for expanding your unit collection as well as awakening and limit bursting the units that you have. And finally, Gumi is actually quite generous in the amount of free Vizor that they give away on a weekly and monthly basis just for signing into the game. Since release, Gumi has consistently given away at least 2,500 Vizor per week for signing in at least 5 days a week, as well as an additional 2,000 Vizor for the monthly rewards if you hit every day for signing in. That's a minimum of 12,000 free Vizor that Gumi just gives away to the player as a thank you for playing. In addition, if you complete the daily missions, you can earn up to 100 free Vizor per day. That's 700 a week and 2,800 more in the span of a month. Bringing that monthly total of thank you for playing our game to 14,800 free Vizor. To put all this in a bit of perspective, at Nerd Night, we estimate that it'll take about 50,000 Vizor on average to target a unit on a banner to safely acquire it and then max it out at level 99 and limit burst 5. Well, hopefully this video helps you to know where to look in the War of the Visions couch cushions, so to speak, to find some extra Vizor laying around. Let us know if we missed anything in the comments and we'll catch you next time.